but this is my, my point of me making this video. Let me show you guys the difference between a shell cracker and a bluegill. Okay? Look, you'll be able to see side by side the difference. Okay? Side by side. That's bluegill, and that's why they call it a red ear. Okay? We call them shell crackers here, but that's a bluegill again. Shell cracker. Bluegill, shell cracker. These rascals right here can fight hard. Sam'sCrappyHole.com, okay, and it opens up. I want to show you guys this. You see that? How it opens up right here? All right. So listen, if you want to subscribe to our email camp, to our email list, look, go all the way down to the bottom. You see all those products we got there? All the way down to the bottom, okay? And you stroll up. You see that this is the last thing on the page. That's the video. Go right up from that video, and you will see sign up for our mailing list. Okay, all you got to do is just put your email address in there and just hit that red button enter. It's free. That's all you have to do. And the other thing I want to show you guys, you see that red banner stretched across the bottom right there, no matter what you do? We have two stores, camscrappyhole.com, which is what I'm on right now, and we also have Cam's Crappy Combos. Okay, so no matter where you go on my site, that red banner stays there. Okay, so when you click that, that red banner... It allows you to port between both stores. Now I'm on Cam's Crappy Combos. Okay? We've got over 400 products in Cam's Crappy Combos. Everything in Cam's Crappy Combos comes with free shipping. Okay. Now, you see that red banner? It's there again. See it at the top? Okay, if you, Cam's Crappy Combos is for those crappy enthusiasts that like to build their own rod and reel, or if you need a reel to go with your favorite rod, or you need a, a rod to go with your favorite reel, you can buy things separately. Our, we have more selections of kits in Cam's Crappy Combos than we do in Cam'sCrappyHole.com. Okay, so you want to go back to Cam's Crappy Combos, right? Look, boom. You port right back. All you got to do is click that red banner. It's very, very simple to do, guys. Um, and also, one other thing before I get ready to wrap it up, before we get ready to head to this video, okay? Look, right here at the top, you see those three lines right there? Let me see if I can show you guys the three lines. That's called a burger. You click that burger, look. All these drop-down drawers open up. So if you want to go to tackle, kits, apparel, cups, and mugs, our newest products, you just click the plus sign right there, and a drop-down drawer opens up. Okay, tackle and and uh, tackle and, and apparel and gift cards. Look, rod combo, jig heads. Look, look boom. You click jig heads. We got over nine pages of jig heads. Okay, so this will help you guys kind of navigate around our website, two stores. So we got 900 products in camscrappyhole.com. We got 400 products in Cam's Crappy Combos. Listen, let's get ready to get to the video. And I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for the love and support. And let's get to it. Yank! Hey, guys, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm not really going out to fish today. Uh, today is about telling you guys and just, I came out here strictly just to show you guys how to locate sunfish, red ear, bluegill, uh, brim, whichever one you want to you, you know, differentiate between the species. But I want to show you guys how to locate the bed. This is very, 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 very simple stuff. Okay. As a matter of fact, guys, I want you to understand this. For almost 10 years, we've been running our YouTube channel now. And we do not have any adult situations on our channel. You won't hear any profanity, any swearing. We don't roll like that. That's not how, how, how we get down. Okay. So, sit back, relax, guys. I want to show you this. I'm going to see if I can catch it. I got, look, as a matter of fact, I got my polarized shade, so I'm going to see if I can show you through the lens, okay? You guys have heard, heard about polarized shades. This time of the year, uh, they're extremely beneficial, all right? Um, and I want to kind of get into what to look for and what they look for. Okay, I'm getting ready to pull up. You can see that those two boats down there. That's where I'm headed. And listen, you need to look for overhanging trees, grass beds, uh, shallow water, sandy bottoms, a washout. Um, you know, washout meaning a sanitary storm and sewer coming into the body of water. Anywhere where there's shallow where there's a sandy bottom is what you're looking for. Okay, uh, dead old mulch, old trees in, in the water, stumps. They're going to be hidden in shallow water, okay? So while the sun's up, I can only show this to you while the sun's up. And let me tell you what happened. I came out a couple of days ago. We've had some, some cool weather, and it pushed. it's all about the water temperature. It pushed the, the shell crackers out, okay? And 
when that water temperature drops back down they push back out so I was able to find two or three beds and I went up real close on them so so I could see them but there wasn't nothing there okay so hopefully I'll be able to show you guys those same beds watch what's gonna happen when I get up there they're gonna have shell crackers on them I know it so let me get myself together guys get yourself something to drink uh, I want to tell all of you guys that's been supporting me thumbs up I appreciate you guys so much uh, if you're not a subscriber of, of mine please accept my most humble invitation to subscribe to my channel I would appreciate you guys it's free it only takes a thousands of a second and that will show me a lot of love not to mention hit that thumbs up button for me so let me get over here and let me see if I can show a little bit of love to you guys while the sun's up and so I can let you see through my polarized shades what those beds look like look like okay look at the blue heron so he's over here that means the bed is somewhere near okay this is a bed right here I'm gonna see if I can show you with the polarized shades on and without them okay it all it just looks like circles okay that's all it looks like now you can see what it looks like right now right now you'll be able to see it real good you see those circles it looks like dark circles okay and you see the foliage underneath it you can see the foliage that's what shell crackers and brim aka bluegill uh, red ear sunfish that's what they look for you can see it real good now see those circles those dark circles they fan that with their tail okay so when you see a bed that looks like this okay look how close I am to the shore this is where you're going to locate them all you can do all you have to do is just back out all you have to do is just back out a little bit that's what it looks like but obviously they took off running all right and listen they don't go too far as soon as I leave within 90 seconds they'll be back okay they'll be back I prefer the the red ears aka shell crackers to catch let's see if we can find another one okay let's take the shades off see what it looks like without the shade see if you can see it all right you see that grassy moss up there and actually that's called bladder wart okay so let's mosey on down a little bit let's see if we can find another one let me see if I can show you guys this bed here see if you can see it you can see the dark circles starting to form they're just starting to get ready right here you can see where it's light 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 and then it gets dark that's a bed okay you can see it just starting to push out right here okay you remember the foliage I was telling you about that sandy bottom that's what they're looking for matter of fact I caught about 15 20 of them right here just recently let me see if I can get you guys to see it. That's what it looks like without the polarized shades. This is what it looks like with them. You can just start to see little circles. So we're going to, matter of fact, let's look right here. You can see it down here too. Kind of hard, but there they are. Let me see what it looks like without it. You can see the circles. Watch when I put the polarized shades there. You see the, where it's light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. That's a bed right here. This is a bed. If I pull back right now with my with my worms, you'll be able to see. This is a bed, and they're on the bed too. Let me see if you guys see it. Sun's coming up just right. There we go. You guys may be able to see it from that from that. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can locate another one, or I may go head back to the house so I can illustrate to you guys how it's important your presentation how you approach that bed which is very very important okay you got to approach it with stealth so you don't scare them away or spook them hold on real quick and i'm going to see if i can get myself together i'm going to show you guys with my equipment exactly what i what i'm running and how i catch so many of them but you see the bubbles too got the cone and i think this will be a good time for me to show you now that you've located the bed let's go ahead and sit down and let's talk about once you locate them how we're going to catch them out of there the best way to attack that bed okay generally i like to try to attack the bed and catch the fish out from the edges on and work my way into the middle okay but let me tell you this real quick uh, I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna show you that illustration on how I do that but let's cover right now all of my signature series rods this is a great time to cover it 
So you guys, if, if, listen, if you need to see more detail, just hang around. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And please accept my invitation to hit that subscribe button. So when I get ready to release future episodes, you guys will be the first ones to be notified. Okay? And, you know, share my material, guys, and also hit that thumbs up. That helps with the algorithms when you hit that thumbs up. So do me that favor. It helps refer my videos to other people who are looking for the same content. Okay. Let me turn you around real quick so I can show you. You guys were asking, what's my the best rod and reels that I make okay I'm gonna go through them real quick then I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna show you the illustration of how we attack the bed okay this right here this is my signature series all of these rods guys are made of pure carbon fiber and the guts inside the reel are titanium okay this is called my matrix red okay you can see the the guides on there you can see them that they're coated with ceramic okay and the the uh, the rod itself matter of fact let me turn it around this way you can see that cam signature series okay and they all come with a sleeve. You can see it says Cam Signature Series, all right? That's called the Matrix Red. Let me see if I can show you right here. There it is. Let me see if I can show you. Cam Signature Series, okay? All of the, all of these that you see, this is my, these are my Lamborghinis. These are my Ferraris, okay? These are the best. If you feel as if you don't deserve the best, who do you think will, okay? Guys, sometimes you need to treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. That's the Matrix Red. Let's look at now the Blacked Out Titanium, which is my number one seller. Okay, we just got them back in. Let me see if I can show it to you real good. She's all black. That's the signature series. 6'6", six, six, two-piece, pure carbon fiber. We don't use graphite. We don't use fiberglass, and we don't use composite. We only run pure carbon fiber, okay? Uh, the guts inside the reel of titanium. Look at that. Fuji Reel C, okay? And the soft EVA split grip help with the conductor so you'll know what's going on at the other end of that line every second that it's in the water okay so that's the blacked out titanium signature series this right here is the one that i will be using on my next video it's called the white ghost okay this is my signature series this is one of my favorite rods okay um same eva split grip fuji reel c ceramic guides um six six super light super sensitive guys we have more crappy rod and reels on the market six six than anybody else in the industry Okay, that's the white ghost. This right here is called the orange Poseidon. Okay, you can see she's shiny right here, matte finish up there. And why do we call it the signature series? You can see from right there. Let me back up a little bit so you can see it. Okay, soft to the touch EVA grip, and all of them come with that, that uh, personalized sleeve. Okay, which has the, all the stats right there on, on the sleeve. Okay, next up, which is called the thunder blue. If you're into blue, you like blue, man, this, this blue is electric super fantastic i mean it is amazing how beautiful these rods are again this is my top of the line okay if you feel like you want to drive a ferrari or lamborghini that's this is what it is okay look at the tip matter of fact let me show you the tip you can see it's blue but the tip is is black okay and it is magnificent last but not least guys this is the silver stallion in the cam signature series let me show it to you so you can see it a real close-up look of it let me see if i can put my hand down there so it can focus you see that that's the silver stallion okay so listen what did I pair all of these signature series reels rods with the very best reel in the industry 10 plus one ball bearings listen if you get a chance go to your your reel that you use right now go over there and take a look and see how many ball bearings that you have in your reel this reel here is ultra smooth okay left or right handed this is this is the best this is my cams professional fishing crappy hole 10 plus 1 ball bearing has titanium guts in it okay this is my first generation okay that's what I pair all these reels with okay 10 plus 1 because the ball bearings don't wear out okay and that's what gives us this ultra smooth feel so listen let's get let me go ahead and get, get together I'm going to have a seat right here I'm going to show you how you guys will be attacking that bed but you guys asked for the best and I wanted to come here and show you my best Okay, I think that you deserve that. And listen, all of these come with free shipping, not to mention the top left right hand corner. All you got to do is just visit camscrappyhole.com and in the top left right hand corner, I'll finance it for you. No interest. So I'll break this rod up into, into four easy bi-weekly payments, whether it's shop pay or after pay. You'll see it up right, right up there in, in the left top left hand corner. I break it up into payments. So by the time you get finished paying, there ain't no, no interest. Okay very very simple i make make owning my equipment guys there ain't nobody else on youtube that does this but cam 
ain't nobody else on YouTube that runs carbon fiber with their titanium guts real with in this many colors okay check me out at Cam's crappy hole com. Let's get get together, guys. Let me get over here. Let me show you exactly so we can get back to showing you how to to show you the bed and how to attack the bed. Yank. Way once you find the bed, exactly what you do. Okay. Um, I got a bobber on here or cork or float, whichever one you guys want to call it. And I'm going to show you how you need to approach that bed. Right now, I'm running my, my the White Ghost. Okay. This is my signature series. This is my top of the line rod that I run. And on my next video, you guys will see me once you find the bed, I'm going to show you the video how you um, attack the bed, okay? And I will be using the White Ghost, okay? So you guys saw the illustration of all of my signature series. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, Cam, what is the very best rod and reel that you have? And that is my signature series. So I decided to feature that one again. Uh, it's pure titanium, uh, pure carbon fiber rod. The guts in it are titanium in the reel. Uh, it comes with 10 plus one ball bearing, 11 ball bearings. That's the best that I have in the industry. Um, that is my top of the line. So this rod and reel is not for everybody. And I want to tell you guys that it's not for everybody. It's for those ones that like to, 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 to ride around in the Ferrari or the Lamborghini. Okay, guys, you got several uh, an, a, a assortment of different colors. Remember, we've got 130 rod and reels on the market today and we're still growing. We're showing no signs of powering down. So let me show you exactly how once you find the bed as the illustration in the video and I'm going to show you how to do how to, to catch the, the crappie out the uh, shell crackers out of the out of the bed. OK, so I'm just going to turn around. OK, so you guys are over my shoulder. Let me make sure you guys can see. I want to make sure I got the angle correct. Let me pull it up just a little bit so you guys will be able to see. Okay, fantastic, right there. Okay, so the cone is the bed, right? The cone is the bed. All right, so all remember, this is an ultralight, and it's designed to, to, to cast ultralight tackle. So all I got on there is a worm, okay, and my nasty bend mental hook, which I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Let me push this out a little bit. Touch. We're about 15 yards, we're about 10 yards away from the bed. Yeah, I would say 10 yards. Okay. I'm about 10 yards. So, this is what I want to illustrate to you guys about the line. You, I'm running high-vis line. So, this is important. It's all about the technique, how you serve that red worm up there. That's what it's all about, the technique. Okay? This is a 6'6 carbon fiber rod. Okay? Listen, you take that bad boy, you throw it up there. Okay. Once that worm hits the water, all you do is flip your bail and watch that line. Don't do, don't throw it and then try to adjust it. Real, don't do that because you got to remember you're fishing in about in about a foot, foot and a half, two feet of water, if that. So remember that shell crackers and bluegills are going to make their bed in a bunch of leaves and sticks. So if you reel that, it's going to get caught down in there in those leaves. Okay. So this is what you do again. I'm going to show it to you one more time. Okay. When you get that worm on there, remember, you're not, I'm, I'm freelining. I'm not running a split shot and I'm not running uh, no, no float, no bobber. Okay. So look, there's the bed. Boom. As soon as it hits the water, point your rod down to the, to the, to the water. Point it down. That allows that line to lay flat on the top of the water. That line will give you every indication what is going on at the other end of that of that of that line. OK, and you'll see that line jerk. It's sort of like getting addicted to seeing that bobber go under. OK, let me show it to you again. Now, remember, we're 10 yards away. So when you see the bed, all you do is do this. Toss it in there. Boom. And leave it. Don't real. Don't do this. Don't do this. flip that bail. That's all you do is flip that bail. And I'm hoping you guys can see my reel, okay? Look, toss, boom, flip the veil. Lay that line, point that, that rod tip down at the water. Because if you reel, you do any of that, the line's going to go underneath the water. You don't want that, okay? You do not want that. I'm going to show it to you again. There's the bed, the cone. Toss, leave it, flip the veil. Leave that line. What happens is the reason why I free line, guys, the reason why I free line Oh, matter of fact, let me turn around so you guys can see me. I want to see you get, so you can see my face. The reason why I freeline 
is because that worm falls very slow in that water column. Like something just dropped out of a tree. Boom. It just drops. Okay? And what's going to happen is that shell cracker or that bluegill protects that bed. Anything that he sees far in it, he's going to grab it lit up. Just like that. Boom. He got it. Okay? So, in the video, I'm showing you exactly how to find the bed. And right now, once you find the bed, how to catch the, the uh, shell crackers of bluegill out of the bed. Now, I want to tell you guys this. I want you to be aware of this. Whenever you find a bed, sometimes you can stay there, catch, 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 catch. You can catch 30 out of the bed, and they'll just keep biting. Sometimes you'll go in there, and you'll catch four, five, or six, and they'll shut off. That's normal because the bed is being disturbed. They're starting to recognize, hey, something's going on here, and we got to figure out wh what it is, okay? When that happens, move along to the next bed. Give them about 10 minutes to settle down, 10, 15 minutes. Catch, go to the other beds, catch four, five, six. Come back to that bed. Come back to that bed. Okay? And they'll be ready to, they'll start hitting just like that. I'm going to show you one more time. Now remember, if you need your white ghost, you need, if you need uh, any of my signature series rods, all you got to do is go to camscrappyhole.com. You'll see it right down there on the screen. And listen, I'm the only cat that offers signature series carbon fiber rods in as many colors as I do. Plus, I will finance it. I will finance it for you. Okay? With no interest. And I'll explain that to you again. Let me show you how you approach the bed. Look. Boom. Close the bale. Point that rod tip down. Don't touch that line. Let it sit there. And you're going to see it jerk. Sure. And when you see that, yank, you reel it up. Because he's on right then and there. Okay. So, let me show you the hook. I want to show you the hook that we're running. Guys, I'm running the platinum black nasty bend hook. I'm running the platinum black. Right here is the gold. If you want it in gold, if you want it in platinum black, I only run the one out. This is what I'll be running. I won't let you see it. This is what I will be running. Platinum black, gold, or red. I run a one out. You see that long shank? And the tip is barbed. Look at that. The tip is barbed. So when it goes in, it doesn't come out. And a, that long shank allows me to get, that big hook allows me to get my hook back real quick. Why do you want it back real quick? Because you can turn around, get back in the water. Because one thing unequivocally, as long as this hook stays out of the water, you're not going to catch fish. Okay? Guys, my signature series carbon fiber rod, my titanium gears, reel, 11, 10 plus 1 ball bearing, 11 ball bearing reel, and you're ready to go fishing. You want to see my best? I'm offering you my best. Okay? So I wanted to show this to you guys on my next segment. This is the white ghost. This is what I will be using. Okay? So I wanted to show this to you so you'll be aware of what I'll be using to catch, to catch crappie. I got 135 rod and reels on the market today. Just go to camscrappyhole.com. If you don't want the best that I have, listen, I got others. So you can take your choice. The nasty bin hook is what I'll be using, guys. Just go to camscrappyhole.com. And listen, I got over 500 segments in my, in, on my channel. You can just sit back in the comforts of your own home and you can watch. Okay? I do step-by-step -step illustration to show you during that time of the season when the fish are biting, I show you exactly how to do it. Nobody else does that. Nobody else can come on here and say, hey, Cam, um, I can offer somebody else's rod and reel. I can offer somebody else's hooks. I can offer somebody else's plastics. We don't do that here at Cam's Crappy Hole. We've been doing this now for almost a decade, guys, and I'm, I'm 17 million plus views on all of my platforms. We're running seven platforms. Okay, I'm easy to find. I'm easy accessible. So listen, let's get back. I want to show. I want to show you show you this real quick, guys. Let's get back so I can give you some more tips on how to find that bed. Okay, yank. All right, let me push up over here. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys this bed with the polarized shades on. This was a bed right there, but the cold temperatures then pushed them out. You can see how they started right here. See how they started? Those little circles, they started fanning that out. You can see where it's, where it's kind of grassy. Look, look at the foliage. You see those, those rotten logs and everything? Look at that. That's where they started already. They've already started, but that's what it looks like without it. Okay, that's what it looks like without this, this polarized shade. This is what it looks like with it. 
you can see they've already started but we've had some cool weather a couple of nights we got down into the low 40s so that pushed them but right back out and listen i'm going to come back here on the next couple of episodes and you're going to see me fishing this spot look how close i am right now to the bank okay let's see if we can locate a couple of more so hold tight for a minute so if you're riding around and you're searching for the bed and you see the water's clear and all of a sudden you see cloud that means they're making the bed right then and there i'm going to pull up there nine times out of ten they're going to run on me but i'm going to show you guys what the bed looks like you can see where it's cloudy right here you see that i don't know if you guys can see that or not it's cloudy but you can see the bed you see those circles those dark circles down there you see them up there look at the dark circle that's a bed look how close it is to the shoreline you see that let me show it to you that's a bed you can see those dark circles around there that is a bed okay i didn't see anything run off of it uh the water's a little bit too cloudy for me but apparently they're there get a good look okay you can't see it necessarily like this but once you put the polarized shades there you can see you can see the, the circles you see them right down there look at that stick right there you can see it right down there you can see the circles okay that's a bed i'm sitting right on top of a bed right now so let me show you the shoreline look at that look how close it is so if you walk around the edges and you saw this you know to get you some worms okay you can see it really really good now that's a bed right there small one but yet a bed As a matter of fact look you can see the cloudy you can see they're starting to form the bed right now it's running back there as well come on we're gonna go see if we can locate another one too